welcome to Heart Harmonics, access to consciousness. And today I'm inspired by a poll that I'm doing. And this is really about choosing prescribed labels of success to reach the Senate, the highest point of our being, or to add the ingredients of our magic and mastery and uniqueness to the new oneness and wholeness. So this has to do with self-interest or being a collective self. Self-interest came to me with Aristotle. And Aristotle has this beautiful story of the Ring of Gyges, which kind of describes very well what self-interest is all about. So I share with you, in my way, concise the story of the Ring of Gyges. So there was a shepherd of goats or whatever you would like to imagine. And as he was with his herd, he found a ring. And this ring made him invisible. Now, if you have a ring of being invisible, that can be quite an advantage to you. But of course, like everything, it depends how you're going to use it. So this shepherd used it to get into the palace of the king. And he used it to start a relationship with the queen. He used it to kill the king and make himself the king. So this is the self-interest. All that he wanted was everything that he was interested in, all that would benefit him, all about his gains. The self-interest has to do with the persona, has to do with the personality, with the roles that we play as they are prescribed because we want to believe that these labels, these designed descriptions will take us into success. Now, Aristotle said, as long as humanity has that self-interest, we are not evolving. And it is interesting to see that in the perspective of when did this happen, all this great Greek philosopher, Socrates, Aristotle, they lived at a time of Aries, when the divine feminine was kind of disregarded, when the divine feminine and the goddess of the myth was no longer respected in its ways. It was at the time when the masculine separated from the sacred, from God, in order to find his, her own way. Neither right or wrong, but a natural process and evolution of humanity. So at each time when the age is changed from that perspective, so we had the Aries, then we had the Piscean age, we had Buddha, we had Christ, and here we had a new opportunity to bring things together, to step out of the self-interest. And we haven't made it yet. And now we are in a time of Aquarius. And again, we have this amazing opportunity, maybe more than ever, as the energy that's coming in provides us really with the opportunity to create this time. I almost want to say enlightenment together, co-creating enlightenment and bringing back the divine feminine and masculine. So as we are letting go of that self-interest, what we're becoming is like a unique wholeness that is part of the oneness. And I'm quite appreciative and I quite enjoy how Carol Graves put it in his beautiful theory of spiral dynamics. He calls it 
spiraling into the collective self. So the self, and for me it has different meanings. I don't know, I haven't spoken to Carol Graves himself. I may communicate him in the other, in the astral plane or whatever you want to call it on a soul level. But for me, the collective self means that first of all, we are connected not only to the physical, to the human experience, but we're also connected to our higher self, soul, heart, spirit, however it comes together for you. So for me, there's two aspects of the collective self. That one that we are actually collective and whole. And the second part is that we consciously contribute to the collective consciousness in a new way, in harmony and not in self-interest. Humanity for many thousands of years has been in self-interest. We destroyed nature. We, we did all kinds of things without any regard for harmony. One of the secrets really of the universe and this planet is it's in harmony. If we're looking at nature, it's perfect. It's not really survival of the fittest. It is about the relations. It's about that harmony that exists without humans. But that can change as we spiral into this higher consciousness of a collective self. So that is the background. And I felt it was maybe interesting for you to hear that. Now, it feels, and when I say it feels, I mean I'm having access to my senses. And that is not just my, my physical senses, the five senses that we all have. I'm having access to my senses that is my heart and my conduit of bringing messages, wisdom, love, sound to you comes through that conduit of my heart as it doesn't have any filters of Patrick. So I will be now that conduit for you as my heart. So it's not Patrick, but it's the heart that brings through for you to unlock these notes in you that can create that harmony of being or becoming a collective self, remembering the opposites and the polarities and whatever else conflict is between you and your wholeness. Because the wholeness doesn't have a self-interest. So let me tune in to be that conduit, connecting to my crystals that wanted to be here with me today. One is the Lemurian, as you are maybe aware, the civilization, for the lack of a better word, that we had before the Atlanteans. And since I am a key, I love the keys on the crystal. I think you can see it. So I'm accessing now that beautiful energy of Lemuria that was a very high level of healing, very sonic, very much based in sound, by the way. And the second one that wanted to be here today, oh, there's two kind of keys for me. I will come back to that in a moment, is the blue lace. Now, many people say the blue lace is very rare. The friend who sold this to me said it is blue lace. So if you feel it's not, it's also okay, but it works for me. So there's one key that you could put your finger on. It's naturally, it's self-healed of the crystal that gives you access. And this one is also a key as in accessing memory. So the memory to Lemurian times. And of course, more than Lemurian, Lemurians were more connected to source and more connected to the sacred. And this is where the collective self can be different. Connected to source and the sacred. So 
as we're all tuning in, let me open up these channels that allow us to have this connection. Tarimana kona ye atori amayo Ati marayo Ati marakona ye aho Ati kona ye maho Atatira maraho Ati Naroye ma Yarone ma kona ya Naroye ma Naroye ma Tura ye ma yu Ati meramu Tarame sound to you? Are you feeling the connection to these higher octaves of consciousness, the states of heart harmonics for you? To be that collective self that you have come to be, as this is the blessing that you are. So for today, much love and I I appreciate to get your comments and I appreciate you become part of this community to start engaging and vibe with us. Put your vibe in and let's vibe together. It takes both of us. I have some ingredients and so does Sissy. And you have the others. So let's enjoy it together. For today, I hope you are getting a little bit into this dialectics, I will talk about this next time, of the collective self and the self-interest. And it's not about right or wrong or good or bad. It's, it's the evolution of humanity. And yet there's something wonderful in all. As we are breaking the old, we might recover the magic and the beauty in all. So thank you very much for being here today and to be here until the end, as this is where the real magic is. Much love from my heart. <laughs>